we stand committed in the affairs that has to do with the restoration of Biafra and we hope that our relationship with the international bodies will make sense. Of course, we cannot do it on our own. If you say we should do it on our own, it may not be possible because of the rate at which some people are desperate to see that Biafrans are wiped out of the surface of the earth. One thing is very important. We must learn and understand the positive impact of the things that we do so that when we do them, it won't only become a new turnout for the gospel we preach, but for a restoration that has to do with mind-blowing evidence. And that's where the whole story begins. We must stay committed. We must look ourselves in the eyes and tell ourselves the truth. Because at the end of the day, what matters, what really matters is, is nothing but the truth. We're engaging ourselves in that possible knowledge of understanding to enlighten our people that we cannot continue to be slaves in our own land. We we'll keep fighting. Whether you like it or not, Biafrans are still fighting a war of survival. You understand? So that is where it is. And we must put ourselves in that circle to understand where it hurts the more, where it hurts the most. And that's one biggest truth I must, I must share with each and every one of you people. Biafra must stay committed. Biafra should not be taken for granted. And Biafra must continue to lie in the state of evidence where we ought to promote justice and disregard injustice. So as we file this journey in and go forward to what we call expectations and expeditions, we must look forward to throw jabs on every meaningful circle that has to connect with us. One of the biggest reasons is this. We must put ourselves in that shoe where a lot of things is bound to happen. Whether we like it or not is a bigger message. Yes. It's a bigger message. That's where the story begins. So let's hold this relationship tight before some nip wounds will come and you know destroy this relationship we already have. Like the large expenditures. Now, I can see the reason why some African presidents are beginning to side the Russian government. The Africans are seeking help from the Russia to see if they can align with Russia, of course, because Russia is the only country that has the balls to face the US and other African countries and other, um, you know, Russia is the only country that has the balls to face the European countries and the US countries. They are, they are the ones that have the balls to face them and tell them to their face that they do not know what they are doing. One of the important things here is 
I must tell you is that again and again things must continue to happen in accordance you understand because if we are more connected to the realms and the things we share then one of the most important thing we should face more is Biafra actualization that is this if we don't do ourselves more good then we are going to fail in a very big way so now that russia had the chance to call out these people we must again put it in our hearts to randomly call these people out and not allow them to use us in any way seemingly right we can't allow them to use us we shouldn't because that's the only gateway we ought to preach this very gospel so if we don't put ourselves together we may not align properly in a gate pass that should be proceed. Biafra has come to stay <clears throat> and I hope that this time that Russia has come to support the Africans, we may see something positive coming out from their enabling and what they have to offer. This is the biggest step and the biggest step that should be taken. I consider the truth that no matter what goes on, must come on. Because if you push it more accurately, we will understand that they don't want Biafra to be free. Because they want our brain. Biafrans have the brain, we have the resources, and we have everything that is needed. Everything. So they need us, they want us around. Because they know without Biafrans, Nigeria on its own cannot survive. But they keep treating us bad. But that time is coming to an end. <laughs>